All right, this past weekend, we got to see the long-awaited return of Tom Aspinall, one of the most highly touted prospects we've seen in the UFC in a very long time, probably the biggest prospect in the UFC's heavyweight division ever, and for good reason. When we talk about how good Cyril Gaon is, the thing that we always point to is that the guy has amazing, beautiful striking and beautiful footwork. When he's in the cage, he moves like a lightweight. And the same can be said for Tom Aspinall. Tom Aspinall has spent a lot of time in boxing gyms training with Tyson Fury, and it shows. His hand speed versus some of the other heavyweights is unreal. And on top of that, the thing that separates him from Cyril Gaon is that Tom Aspinall is a super high-level grappler. The guy is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt. In this fight against Tabura, there were a lot of questions going into it whether or not time was going to look like the time of old or if the time off and coming off of a major injury, if he was going to look a step slow. But Tom was able to answer that question very fast. He was able to secure the victory in less than two minutes. I think it was a minute and 13 seconds. And the whole time, it looked like a complete and total mismatch. His hand speed, his power, his footwork, the guy is on a completely different level. Immediately after this fight, Tom called for a matchup between him and the winner of Ciro Gan and Sergei Pavlovich. And either way that fight goes, it's gonna be a massive test for Tom Aspinall. He's either gonna have to fight Sergei Pavlovich, the new boogeyman of the heavyweight division, the guy who's been knocking out everybody in the first round, or Ciro Gan, probably the only heavyweight in the history of the UFC that can match Tom Aspinall when it comes to the striking acumen and the footwork. Tom also mentioned that if he's able to get past the winner of that fight, the only thing on his mind is a matchup between him and John Jones, which sadly is probably never going to happen. John Jones has been angling towards retirement for a very long time now. From the three years he took off in between his reign as the light heavyweight champion and moving up to heavyweight, as well as some of his recent tweets pointing to the fact that if he's able to beat Stipe Miocic, he's probably going to call it a career. I've heard some people say that this performance by Tom Aspinall, that might be something that can get John Jones out of bed in the morning, but I disagree. The better Tom Aspinall looks, I feel like it's probably a lower chance that John Jones is going to stick around for him. John's had a long career. He's already had the intense close fights like the one with Gustafson. He's already had the dominant performances like the one he's had against Cyril Gaon. His legacy, for all intents and purposes, is set in stone. I don't think there's anyone out there whose opinion of John when it comes to the GO conversation is going to move all that much with a win over Tom Aspinall, but with a loss, it's going to be a completely different story. But despite the fact that Tom is probably not going to get that matchup with John Jones, once John and Stipe retire this November, when we look at Tom Aspinall, we very well might be looking at the future of the UFC's heavyweight division. Thanks for watching.